The prayer of Jafar al tayyar is an important prayer and very rewarding. The prayer is recommended for forgiveness of one's sins and the divine response to one's needs and requests. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him taught this prayer to Jafar, the son of Abu Talib, upon his request from Abyssinia as a reward for the many years of patience there. The prayer consists of two prayers with two rak'ahs in each prayer, that's four rak'ahs in total. These four tasbihs are recited 75 times in a rak'ah, so that's 300 times all up. The best time of its performance is the first hours of daylight before noon on Fridays. How to perform the prayer? Make your intention. I am praying Salat Jafar al tayyar seeking closeness to Allah. Then Takbiratul Ihram, Allahu Akbar. In the first rak'ah, recite Surat al Fatiha. Now it is recommended to recite Surat al Zalzala. Now recite the four tasbihs 15 times. Go to Ruku'ah. Subhana Rabbi al Azimi wa bihamdi. Recite the four tasbihs 10 times. Stand up from Ruku'ah. Recite the four tasbihs another 10 times. Go to Sujood. Subhana Rabbi al A'la wa bihamdi. Now recite the four tasbihs 10 times. Sit back up. Recite the four tasbihs another 10 times. Go to Sujood. Subhana Rabbi al A'la wa bihamdi. Now recite the four tasbihs ten times. Sit back up. Recite the four tasbihs another ten times. That's seventy-five tasbihs. Stand up for the second rak'ah. Recite Surat Al-Fatiha, and it is recommended to recite Surat Al-Adiyat. Now recite the four tasbihs fifteen times. It is recommended to practice the qunut and recite your du'as and needs if preferred. Do all the other actions we mentioned in the first rak'ah again with 10 tasbihs after each action. So in other words, do rak'ah with 10 tasbihs, stand back up after rak'ah with 10 tasbihs, sujood with 10 tasbihs, sit up after sujood with 10 tasbihs, sujood again with 10 tasbihs, sit up after sujood with 10 tasbihs. Now perform tashahud and the taslim. That's 150 tasbihs. Now do this prayer one more time except after Surat Al-Fatiha, it is recommended to recite Surat Al-Nasr in the first rak'ah and in the second rak'ah we recite Surat Al-Ikhlas after Surat Al-Fatiha. Recite all the required tasbihs as mentioned. In the last rak'ah or in this fourth rak'ah in the second sujood, it is recommended to recite the following. Ya man labisa al-izza wal waqar. يا من تعطف بالمجد وتكرم به يا من لا ينبغي التسبيح إلا له يا من أحصى كل شيء علمه يا ذا النعمة والطول يا ذا المن والفضل يا ذا القدرة والكرم أسألك بمعاقد العز من عرشك ومنتهى الرحمة من كتابك وبإسمك الأعظم الأعلى وكلماتك التامات أن تصلي على محمد وآل محمد وأن تفعل به And now one can request their needs from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Finish the prayer with all these tasbihs as mentioned in the first prayer Now you should have completed 300 tasbihs there are other recommended du'as to say after the prayer as well. Note, if you don't have enough time to recite all the tasbihs, one can recite them after the prayer. If some important issues arise, one can separate the two sets of prayers with a gap. If you forget the tasbihat in a specific place, you can make them up in another place. For example, if you miss the tasbih in ruku'ah, and then remember after raising your head, then you recite 20 tasbihs in that place, and so on. If one does not know the complete surahs off by heart, one can hold a book to read off until one learns them.